Hello, everyone. It's Mr. Kissinger at the Citizenship Academy in Syracuse, New York, and this is fifth grade math module five, lesson 21. Um, we're going to draw and identify very two dimensional figures from given attributes. Um, so we're going to continue categorizing these uh, two dimensional figures. Um, and we're going to do that by uh, using this chart right here. Um, and I want to draw your attention down to this uh, letter H uh, at the bottom. As it says, for each statement that we answer uh, with sometimes, we're going to draw and label an example that justifies the answer. So if something is, if one figure is always uh, in the category of, an, of the other uh, figure, then we don't need to draw a, an example. Um, but if it is, if it is sometimes um, falls into that category, uh, into that classification, then we're going to want to draw an example of what, when it does. Um, and as we kind of go through, that'll make a little bit more sense. Uh, so look, look, let's look at letter A. It says, is a square a rectangle? Um, so a rectangle needs to have four right angles. It's a quadrilateral of four right angles. Um, and a square has four right angles, but a rectangle does not require uh, that all all the sides are the same side length or same length. So every square is a rectangle, uh, but every rectangle is not a square. So is a square a rectangle? Yes, a square is always a rectangle because every square has four right angles, and that's the uh, requirement for it to be a rectangle. Um, for letter B, it has is a rectangle a kite? Well, a kite is a shape is a um, figure that has two consecutive sides the same length so if we had a rectangle um let's say just like a rectangle that looks like this well that rectangle is not a kite because we look at this side and this side are two consecutive sides the ones that are right next to each other and they're not going to be the same length but a rectangle will sometimes be a kite. Um, I guess I'll just leave that one there. This is a regular rectangle. That one won't be a kite. Um, but sometimes it will. And, and when it will be, and I'm going to write the letter B right down here. Is when it's a square. Because we know that squares are rectangles. And a square is also a kite because all of the sides are the same length and that makes two consecutive sides the same length. All four consecutive sides are the same length. So sometimes, but not always. Um, letter B says, is a rectangle a parallelogram? So a, a rectangle, again, is a, uh, a quadrilateral that has uh, four right angles in it. And a parallelogram is a figure that has two sets of parallel sides. Uh, so a rectangle, by definition, uh, will need to have four parallel sides. Again, a rectangle has four right angles, so all four sides will be, um, or if we draw like, again, a rectangle here, this side, and this side will be parallel. Oh, well, they're equal, but they're also parallel. So we'll draw a little parallel signs. And then this side and this side will be parallel. So a rectangle is always a parallelogram. Our next uh, question is, is a square a trapezoid? Now, a square, again, is uh, it's pretty specific. It wouldn't need to be four right angles and all sides the same length. So a square, by definition, must also be a trapezoid. A trapezoid needs to have at least one pair of uh, parallel sides. And our square has two sets of parallel sides. So because this trapezoid needs at least one, uh, two is at least one. And that makes a square always a trapezoid. 
Now let's look at ladder E. Letter E says, is a parallelogram a trapezoid? Well, again, a parallelogram has two sets of parallel sides. A trapezoid must have at least one set of parallel sides, and two is at least one. So we know that a parallelogram is always a trapezoid. Now, the other way around is a parallelogram... Um, or is a trapezoid always a parallelogram in letter F? Well, a trapezoid needs to have at least one set of parallel sides, but it doesn't need to have two. So a trapezoid, and I'll write letter E down here, a trapezoid that has only one set of parallel sides would not be a parallelogram because it needs two. So a trapezoid like um, that would look like this, like an isosceles trapezoid, This one has, two, has one set of parallel sides. But these two sides are not parallel. It would not be a parallelogram. But it would have, but it could be if you had uh, a, a trapezoid that looked like like this. Well, that's a parallelogram has at least one set of parallel sides, but it has another set of parallel sides as well. And this kind of goes to both of these. That's when a trapezoid is also a parallelogram, a parallelogram is also a trapezoid. So this is going to be sometimes. Trapezoids can sometimes be parallelograms, and parallelograms are always trapezoids. And then, is a kite a parallelogram? And a kite is, um, again, it needs to have two consecutive, uh, two consecutive uh, equal side lengths. So, a kite can be a parallelogram um, if we had a square or a rhombus. So, like, say we had... Something like this. Well, we have two, we have all four equal side lengths, and we have two sets of parallel sides, so we have like a rhombus. But a okay, kite is not always a parallelogram. So for letter G, I'm going to draw a picture of a uh, kite that's not a parallelogram down here. We have two consecutive sides the same length, and we have two other sides the same length. So this will this will make that a, that makes it a kite because it has two consecutive sides the same length, and then two other sides the same length as well. So this side and this side are the same. This side and this side are the same. It's a kite, but I actually don't have any parallel sets of parallel sides there. So. A kite is sometimes a parallelogram. So number two says, use what you know about quadrilaterals to answer each question below. Explain when a trapezoid is not a parallelogram. Sketch an example. So a trapezoid... is not a parallelogram when it only has one set of parallel sides. Because a parallelogram needs two sets of uh, parallel sides. And it's asking us to sketch an example here. And I kind of have it right here in E, but I'll, I'll make another one here. So, let's say we had something like this. It doesn't need to be an isosceles trapezoid. We'll have this one kind of coming out like that. So, 
So these sides are slightly different lengths, but we have this side and this side parallel. So that's a trapezoid that is not a parallelogram. And letter B says, explain when a kite is not a parallelogram. Sketch an example. So if we have a kite that's not a parallelogram, um, a kite is not a parallelogram. when it has less than two parallel sides, or less than two sets of parallel sides. Because a parallelogram needs to have two sets of parallel sides. So a kite that does not would look like well, it could look like this. We have this side and this side equal lengths and this side and this side equal lengths, but we don't have any sets of parallel sides. Um, and I could even do another example. I could have a kite that has um, Something like this, and maybe like that. Again, one set of parallel sides, two sets of parallel sides. So it doesn't always have to kind of have this elongated kite look. Um, but anytime when we don't have any parallel sides, um, we can it cannot be a parallelogram. All right. So that's all the time we have for today. Thank you guys uh, for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you next time.